I've dealt with suicide in the past. I've struggled with that myself. Not wanting to live over just the issues of life. I would say stress, family problems, self-esteem issues, thinking that I wasn't good enough, being told that I wasn't good enough, not fitting in, always being the black sheep. I felt being the black sheep of everything, every group, whether it be family, at school, friends, cliques, I always felt that I was different, so I always felt that I didn't belong. So, I mean, in my heart I felt there was no reason. God just kind of had some extra time and made me. That's how I felt. So, it was kind of an accident. So I wanted to end my life, so I went as far as cutting myself, taking pills, just doing silly, stupid stuff, being tricked and tormented by the enemy in my mind as a young girl, you know, thinking I'm not pretty enough and, you know, looking at other girls and like, oh, you know, Jesus, why? Well, what happened with me? <laughs> you know, so, really didn't want to live and it wasn't until, you know, it was one night I really, 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 really just wanted to end it all and I think I took like a lot of pills and I woke up. So I'm like, dude, why am I woke? <laughs> and not and like, I don't know why I thought I was going to heaven, because I did. I woke up in my bed <laughs> to my siblings and my daddy and I was like, great, great guy, great. Okay, great. So you really, okay, all right. So, you know, after that, I was like, it's got to be a reason why I'm here. So that pushed me at a young age. I was like 16 or 17, senior in high school. It pushed me to want to know more about Jesus, want to know why am I here? What is my purpose? It made me want to read my Bible, understand the hymns, because we used to sing a lot of hymns. It made me want to understand even the hymns that I was singing. So every Sunday I go to the altar, every Sunday, you know, I just felt the presence of God. It was just different every day after that day that I woke up when I didn't want to wake up. I was like, it's got to be purpose. It's got to be something more. So if you're dealing with suicide because of the things of life, because of the issues of life, or if you're being tormented by the enemy, I was there. And God has greater purpose for our lives. And he placed us here for his purpose, no purpose of our own. So to be consumed and, and discouraged about the things of life, hey. Rely on Jesus, depend on Jesus. He solves all problems. He is correction to all problems. So I say depend on him, lean on him. Nothing in this world is worth it. So I say talk to God. Let him know. He knows everything. He knows all. He knows how to handle all. He knows how to handle everything. So nothing is worth suicide. Nothing at all. So I say accept what he allows. Seek his face. So that he can give you wisdom on how to handle the issues of life and keep moving. Don't die. Live and not die and declare the works of the Lord.